Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back to Hearthstone. So, we are in the recording three of this recording session. We need one more Shaman victory and three things with Warrior. And I'm hoping to get them all. I'm hoping to get up to rank 18. Last recording, I was talking about Sony and I wondered aloud if the new Ben-Hur movie that flopped uh, is already flopping in the first weekend. Uh, it was owned by Sony. Turns out I looked it up. Nope, it's MGM and Paramount this time. Uh, that's just Belfurian. the movie industry in a nutshell. They've all, they've all lost their minds. I don't. I could say, I'm pretty sure I've gotten content ID'd by Sony. I don't believe I've ever been content ID'd by Paramount or MGM. Uh, Job's done. Probably because I just haven't played any games that are of any Paramount or MGM properties. That certainly in time may change. Hurry up! Portals online! I don't even have any real special hatred towards Sony. As far as their content IDs, they seem like they're doing it fine. Uh, speaking of the YouTube bar, uh, copyright garbage, uh, I am following anxiously as one company that is notorious for, for committing fraud and lying on DMCAs is now hopefully actually going to get sued for it, and this will be very Another interesting night on the prowl. to see if they succeed so some youtubers um, are gonna go the whole way they've started a kickstarter if i had more money i would actually even support this because it would support me in the long run but sadly i really don't have money to be spending on that. i don't even have money to spend on like soundtracks because i played the cat lady recently which i think i may end up playing that again next year and try to get all the achievements uh, since I just kind of played it without doing everything perfectly and you kind of have to do it uh, so next year in the Halloween month it wouldn't surprise me if I played the cat lady again although probably not that, that seems a little repetitive maybe I'd sneak it in at some other time I'm also uh, experimenting here. I'm experimenting a lot right now. The cat lady and I have no mouth and I must scream. So for that time slot for all of December is going to be age restricted by me. Be it for the psychological themes. And uh, there's very brief scene of nudity in, uh, in the cat lady that's not sexualized at all. It's it's a serial killer as his victims are naked. Uh, in fact, in the cat lady, you can use the toilet every now and then, and so I kept using the toilet and sitting on everything just to, just to be silly. Uh, so, uh, not that it shows me. But yeah, it's all going to be age restricted 18, so that means no ads will run on it because I age restrict it, which is kind of the unfair thing about their restricting setup. It they desperately should allow you to have some level of of control there, where you can still age gate but also get ads because no ads means that you're nobody's gonna age gate it unless they're very responsible like I'm trying to be uh, everybody else the cover the cat lady on that is it's kinda hard to tell too because I'm always logged into my YouTube and it seems like it doesn't particularly pop up a question uh, for me, I must have clicked a box somewhere that said, forget it, just, just do it, 
cheese am I losing? Wow. Well done. Uh, so maybe I I see some 18 plus age gated things all the time and don't realize it and just don't Where notice it. Shall I There's start? no ads. But the entire month is age gated. Nine. It's Mistake. right next to the kids' time slot. That's a that was certainly a concern to you. Uh, let's see. Do I want to? Let's see. Now I have five more I can do. Yeah, that's a weird thing. Other things I'm experimenting with right now is recording an what hour and a half in, in a row without having Christmas. eaten anything at all. So, so I may get kind of lightheaded and I doubt I'd actually pass out or anything, but um, it certainly is a slight concern. Let's see if we can win this. Alright. Get him! Get him! Oops! Let's see. Now I've got a three here. And a three here to take out these two. I should have summoned the thing right there. Job's done. I've already lost though, he can just do this. Oh, I should have summoned the thing. Well played. Oops. Not paying enough attention. So yeah, I'm definitely experimenting with that. With not using I'm definitely experimenting here. We're recording. I do want to slightly mention it's kind of off topic here. That, uh, the Pokemon cartoons latest season finale or whatever. Where Ash Ketchum, the same character in this cartoon that's been going on. Five, ten, maybe fifteen years at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if it's even the past fifteen. This cartoon's been going on for a Ash Ketchum never wins the the tournaments. To, he gets all the badges and then loses at the end every single time. Uh, much in the same way that like Dragon Ball Z goes on forever. Uh, what's the pirate one? That's still going on. That's the longest running one right anything. now. It's it's about to finish. Bleach went on forever with a lot of hiatuses on top of it, so that was even more annoying. Um, there's these Shonen Jump, particularly Shoujo shows. So Shonen Jump is is the name of a. What would you call it? A, a, up. a kind of ma on. weekly manga fighting, uh, fighting anthology. So different stories in this weekly manga magazine, and uh, and then I believe Pokemon is in that that ring. It's part of that, but maybe not. Uh, and shoujo is like boys fighting animations uh, targeted towards boys. Uh, that's just how the Japanese do it. They have a lot of gender specific things. Uh, 
And so, like, they have things that are specifically targeted to girls and things that are specifically targeted to, to boys. Arguably, they, they do it a little bit better than in America because nowadays in America, not, nothing is specifically targeted to either. Cartoons have, have fallen severely out of favor, and you, you have a few things, but a lot of the things that do come out on, like, Nickelodeon or, or Disney that are new are half-targeted towards uh, adults. So... Still, still an issue though. Uh, uh, but all these things always go on forever. So anybody with any knowledge of this knew that uh, that he wasn't gonna win this one. Like he's, he's never gonna win any of them. And he won't win until Pokemon has stopped being popular and they've decided to cancel it. And the uh, 2020 Jap Japan Olympics kind of is showing that Pokemon is slowly losing its popularity a little bit for the Yokai Watch because uh, their their official merchandise uh, had a Yokai Watch uh, character in it, and instead of like a Pikachu or anything, but maybe Nintendo is just being a little bit slower or they're gonna do their own release. Almost certainly they are because at the end of the Rio Olympics the Prime Minister of Japan came out of a a pipe dressed as Mario and maybe he did that with no permission whatsoever of Nintendo, but I seriously doubt it. That would be a mess if Nintendo came back and said no, we didn't give permission Job for done. him to use to dress as Mario or use our likeness in any way. But it's it's kind of weird too. I don't follow the Olympics, so I wasn't aware that the, the closing ceremony of one Olympics could be the kind of a trailer for the next Olympics. But, uh, but there's apparently it turned that way. It's going to be very interesting to see if the 2022 Olympics actually happen, how much better and amazing it will be compared to the kind of awful Rio Olympics, uh, which were mired in problems and, and corruption. Uh, however, I say if it happens, because, you know, with global climate change and all that, I wouldn't be surprised if there's another huge flood or something and the Olympics simply don't even occur. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another tsunami and this Jane. I hope it doesn't happen, but who knows? Uh, so that that's a little weird. What was oh yeah, well, I was talking about <laughs> I'm trying to remember how I even got to this topic, yeah. So yeah, people are upset that Ash Ketchum didn't win for some reason. <laughs> And I was like, apparently he had a lot of powerful Pokemon now, but so what? That they're just going to make more powerful Pokemon every time. Uh, it's ridiculous how long that s series has gone on forever. Uh, and in the end, I guess he either needs to win just one, it, or if they have enough time to wrap up the series... I would suspect they might even have him come back and uh, take on like every single gym battle in some some uh, some kind of montage or just recap of the whole thing. If he wins, it is an anime still, even though it's a kids anime. It, it wouldn't be beyond the 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 creators, even of the beloved Pokemon, that just kill Ash Ketchum in the last of it, and just like. Uh, but but it's never gonna end as long as they can make 
things, so Nintendo's never gonna end it. They're, they're always gonna make more, uh, more video games, and so they, they always want that cartoon to, to be open-ended. They may stop making it, but they're not gonna have a win. And that's why you really shouldn't watch the cartoon. Uh, it's really for just kids to watch until they get bored and they, they become too old for it. The kid is supposed to become too old for it before the, the next show ends. If it's not that case, then something's gone wrong. So I just wanted to talk about that. It is a little off topic. I also talked about how I want to get back to Minecraft and time management is not allowing that for me. I, uh, I just, I don't know how to really improve my time management skills too much. I can maybe hire a secretary to do all the uploading and paperwork and all this. Save me maybe one day out of the month worth of work. But that's kind of it. Uh, the other thing is just I've got to persevere. I think at the end of the year we may very well stop with the kids' time. I don't think we can stop with anything else. Yeah, unless I just start playing Hearthstone on my own and not recording any of the, which would be a, a further waste of time, wouldn't it? So. I don't know what you can do there. If you can do anything at all. Job's done. So, yeah, I, I keep thinking about it. I need to continue. <laughs> Speaking here, I'm going to try and transition again. I shouldn't point these out. S Speaking of keep thinking about something, the game Fez is this incredible puzzle thing that I, I do want to cover. It's on my list, it's it's on my short list even of games I want to get around to playing. Uh, but I'm only going to carry it on the superficial level. I'm not going to try and speed run it and I'm not going to try and uh, uh, get like 100% or even 200% whatever the percentage is of it. I just want to play the superficial level of the game and, and beat it and say alright I beat the superficial part of it and none of the other secrets uh, because I think it's a game worth experiencing. But, but the creator of it in a stealthy surprise has put out the patch and in this patch it now has a speed run mode. Which is interesting. So, people have already been speedrunning it quite a lot, but for, for him to just put in the speedrun mode, that's definitely interesting. And see, Are now I'm starting to run out of things to talk about. I have two more things on my clipboard here of discussions, and I have about. 10, 12 minutes to play left of games. You win. There we go. Yay, a victory. See, I'm falling closely down from the rank 19, though. Unfortunately, I still have need three more victories necessary for the warrior, and so I'm gonna try and play wild warrior and hope I can get up to 18 on this now. I'm going to. And the stars you have at the end of a month are not the exact same as what level you you get. I think. I'm not sure. Are the bonus stars you get based on the highest rank you have or the number of stars you have right 
when you end them up because those are really different things if i got all the way up to like rank Gash one but then brawl. at the end of the month i fell all the way down to rank 20. do i get a small amount of bonus stars or do i get a ton of bonus stars this is my charge deck i believe so notice with the new overlay we're also getting warnings at the top because the decks somehow changed even though i didn't mean for them to change or in the hearthstone deck tracker uh they somehow changed uh the other thing i want to talk about is i was on twitch last night i don't get on twitch Bring very out often your actually, dead. now that i've thought about it and looked at it uh, i don't get on it much but I was on it, and I, I look at the most common games that are play, getting played right now. It's still very heavily Hearthstone, Overwatch, Counter-Strike Ghost, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people, uh, but there's also the Twitch plays, where there's a lot of people making like Twitch plays, Sudoku, Twitch plays, Pokemon, Twitch plays, uh, this and that. There's this new game I do want to cover called Reigns, where it's a... Is it a role-playing game? I guess it's, it's more of a resource management game. I would say and you get Bring a situation based on a card and Then you can either swipe the card left to do one thing or swipe the card right to do another thing and Because it's simplistic in that element I suspect uh, that helped them integrate it into Twitch so you can have Twitch play your Reigns game for you which more and more games are being designed or having features designed and even if it is just features designed to integrate to Twitch and having other people play the game for you um, it is definitely taking away resources from the actual rest of the game. For the and so that's a problem. Job's done. And it's a growing problem, sadly. It's not going away. More and more Five Nights at Freddy's horror games like that are, are played and designed for people to play on YouTube and Twitch. And less and less, I, I bet they don't get as much sales as you would think because of it. Some of those games could have been a, gotten a lot more sales. For the war chief. For house green. Uh, but if you build your game around the concept that people can play it for free on Twitch, or in some weird fashion at least, I, I suspect, suspect that is going to cause cause less sales to eventually occur. So, I wish people wouldn't do this. It, it's certainly not going to help me. I'm not going to become a Twitch streamer, at least for the to foreseeable future. Victory. The, 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 the thing about Twitch is that the people that are huge on Twitch make a lot of money, as far as I can tell, which is also true on YouTube. But I, I feel like I would get even less views on Twitch. If my videos wouldn't be permanently up there. Uh, I feel like a lot of people just flippantly want to go to the next great thing. And I'm not sure if it helps them and saves them or if it's just people are flippant in general. Let's see. So I could do this. So, yeah, I don't like that that's there. I do want to play Reigns. I have, here's a topic, though. I have seen people talk this way, and it seems so strange. Uh, like, I, don't, I saw one guy rant, and I don't know if this guy is a troll or what on YouTube. He's apparently popular, but I can't get a, a link here. He's just screaming and raving and... and 
practically spinning on his hate for No Man's Sky when it came I out. I can take the hit. And then he says, I've already beaten the game twice, and uh, I'm still going to buy it on PlayStation, on PC, to see how that is. But I'm super mad at you, and I've already played it twice all the way through. And I'm like, what in the world? You're... This is the ultimate justification. Either this is a troll, or this person has made such a justification. It's like, uh, I, I saw somebody else saying, well, I heard that the Sausage Party animators were badly mistreated. I'm still going to go buy the movie and watch it and, and own, own the Blu-ray. Like, that's bad. And I was like, come on, people. If you're gonna stand on a moral ground, you need to stand on a moral ground. You can't just say, "Well, I know this is bad, but I still want to. I still want to experience this, so I'm gonna give them my money and, and pretend like it's not a and, 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 and once they get their money, they don't care. They don't care what you say or how you say it. Once you get the money, you get it. So, if I morally think that the creator of No Man's Sky lied. I'm, I'm gonna not buy No Man's Sky. Now, I don't even have to make that decision personally because I just wasn't interested in, in No Man's Sky. It didn't look like an interesting game in the first place. Uh, oh, that reminds me. There is another topic I didn't write down here. Interesting. Uh, so I don't even have to get to that point. But if I did get to that point. It certainly should be considered that I, I wouldn't buy No Man's Sky if I actually thought the guy was ridiculously lying. And best I can say, he was ridiculously lying in at least a, a few things. And there was, but a lot of it was hype. And a lot of it is the video game industry, like. When the first trailer of No Man's Sky came out, he they were given over let me let me say this right. Over forty agencies of video game reviewers gave out a ton of awards to that game before it had even come anywhere close to being uh, released. Like the first trailer was getting all kinds of things. So they were hyping it up. The video game reviewing uh, community was hyping it up even from the beginning. They are 100% as guilty as the creator. They were giving me the interviews to people. I see it even now that there's some games that are getting a lot more coverage on some of the some of the people I follow, some of the news agents, and I heavily suspect that that those people are paying them for coverage or that the, even if they're not paying them co for coverage for some reason or other that 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 online newspaper just wants to cover this game a lot more it's it's really easy there should be about three articles ever released three tweets ever pushed out for anything a game has an announced has been announced here's the trailer the release date yeah. has been announced here's the uh here's the next trailer and the game is out here's our review of it that should be about it now if the company makes more than one trailer maybe you get a fourth in there if they make four five six trailers maybe you get four five six trailer announcements there uh, but also, kind of maybe you should just do the original trailer and then I refuse to play any more advertisement for your game until you give a release date because that's the real important information. Maybe that's what the industry should do and say, we're not going to play these trailers. We don't care. We'll put them in the announce date announcement. So it should be an initial trailer somewhere, I would say close to six months before the game is scheduled to release the announce date somewhere around uh, three months to release and the game is out in review when the game comes out in review that's how in a perfect world it should work 
but some games it's like here's a trailer here's another trailer here's 10 minutes of gameplay here's five minutes more gameplay here's an extended trailer here's, here's some more gameplay here's our early impressions Job's done. Uh, we haven't finished Your a review left. there we go it's just like you may have a whole week worth of uh, you may have seven articles about something before you even start and it's it's annoying it's pandering it's building hype and we need to fight the hype we need to completely fight the hype uh possibly not in the way that mankind deus ex mankind divided fight, fight the hype. Versus uh, honestly watch your back Victory in what death. can be the biggest surprise it's probably going to be the biggest surprise of 2016 in video games mankind divided from everybody i've heard says it's an excellent game maybe the story's a little weak i could see that because you know what the the, the entire story of the deus ex series is kind of stupid and weak and just silly but it seems like it's an excellent game from everybody I've heard. And that is a huge, huge surprise because remember, the latest thing from Deus Ex was not Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, it was Deus Ex The Fall, which was a unfinished cell phone game. That's the latest Deus Ex thing. It never got finished and it kind of sucks. Uh, it, it's kind of sucked even in the beginning of it and then there's Deus Ex Go I suppose technically that is now the latest thing to have come out which I mean well all the Go games are their own separate thing oh, so no, that's its own weird oh, no. setup but Deus Ex was I believe supposed to come out in February they had that whole augment you pre-order thing that it has been pushed back at least once although it feels like it may have been pushed out back twice maybe three or four times uh, the the whole uh, augment your pre-order thing was cancelled uh, remember that the augment your pre-order thing was supposed to uh, if For enough people pre-ordered it it was supposed to release the game early on that initial around February release date. And now it's coming out in August, I believe. Yeah. It's almost the, the aug in August should have been played up. Uh, but they pulled it back and apparently it needed the time and apparently it got the polish it did need. So... It, it's very shocking, but it sounds like it's good. Now, they didn't get everything. Let's let's be fair here. The DirectX 7, uh, DirectX 12 uh, stuff is not coming out with release. Which seems really weird, because you would think if a game is built to use DirectX 12, it's probably in the whole engine of the thing. So, how... You could possibly not have that support built in when the game comes out is is rather questionable. But yeah, it's not coming uh, until a patch later, so they're just putting more polish on that. But the difference between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 probably I, I've yet to see. A huge difference there it's probably not that much and DirectX 12 cards aren't super available yet charge divine shield before or do I win right now yeah just win right now I give up darn it so but I, I'm really shocked about that. It's a shame I really don't have the funds to, to just buy it day one and play it because that would be nice. And, and it's not even a funds issue as much as it is a time management issue. Let's see. 
Well, I'm a little bit late, but we'll just, I guess we'll just go long here. Uh, I have only one more thing here. So, unturned is, I believe, what you would call a day Z flip. It's, uh, not daisy, but maybe daisy, I don't know. There's this unity asset to make a game with with Minecraft blocky characters, Get and it's a zombie versus. survival Who's game, that? and a lot of people have I taken that asset and just sold it and added very little to it, changed very little. But apparently Unturned did at least a little bit. And it now is coming out, it was made by a 16 year old. So, yes, you can asset flip in the proper way and make a at least decent game as a 16 year old, which is amazing because when I was a 16 year old programmer, none of this was available. There was no such thing as the Unreal Engine. There was no such thing as uh, a Unity. And because of all of that, particular, uh, particularly, there's, you just couldn't do any anything. I could program Pong, and I did when I was probably 16. I programmed Pong Get in, there and fight, in C++. Get in there and fight, uh, I Borland C++, maybe version 4. I programmed Pong from straight inputs which is interesting pong in particular wasn't actually made i don't think originally using programming a language i think it was made using instead a oscilloscope programming circuitry language so it it, it worked in a very analog fashion uh, using the knowledge of which transistor goes where to actually program each thing, which, which is amazing it, it, that even something as simple as Pong could get made that way, but that's it. But man, if I was 16 and I could make something like Unturned, I would have loved it. I would have totally loved it. Uh, Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. And yeah. the thing about Unturned, I think more than anything else, is I've seen People are still every now and then playing it on YouTube. Some of the people are playing, um, and he follows Reporting the feedback here. and responds. So the 16-year-old here has learned what needs to be done to please the gaming audience. I think more than probably a good portion of people who really make video games for for a living, just responding to the audience and giving it. Uh, Hearthstone, great example, Blizzard. Do they really listen to the audience and respond to it? Not enough. Maybe a little bit, but not enough. Uh, they should be doing contests for new cards, like I, I was saying a couple of recordings ago. It's like, when PC Magazine has a contest for what new priest cards would you create, and the winners look way better than the the purify card that Fine. came out. I'll heal. Job's done. Uh, you you have to say why is Blizzard not doing this? Why is Blizzard not having contests and taking suggestions for cards? Why are they being ridiculous and Back to your homes. locking themselves into their own line of thinking and giving us solo adventures? For duty. That are showing us a bunch of cards we can't play with doing solo adventures at all and then charging a lot of money for it too. It seems, it seems just listen to your audience and give them what they want. And congratulations on the 16 year old who, who figured that out and is actually uh, benefiting from that. It's sold a lot of a lot of copies. Yeah, I don't believe I have enough here to protect myself. So we'll Fine, I can, I can take out one of these guys. And that's it. So that's all I have to talk about. I've been watching the Shannara Chronicles yet again. Follow not working. Uh, 
it's this weird MTV TV series, but it seems like they put some budget into it. So apparently MTV at some point started making good or at least decent shows. Uh, and so I'm watching this on Netflix and I'm like, wow, I'm surprised MTV can do this. And it's, it's this weird series where elves, dwarves, and other people are in an earth after the humans like nuclear irradiated and killed everybody. So I imagine the elves and dwarves all evolved from radiation fallout, which is interesting. Uh, and, but it's a live action thing and it works. So we're at 40 minutes. I need one more victory and that's the only thing I'm going to do off screen just because I don't have anything else to talk about. We've managed to do three recordings. I need to get back to three recordings. Hopefully I can. Maybe I just got lucky this time. Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me further, you can click on my name right out. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.